I'm on my first morning bike ride on Big Pine. This is pretty typical along the road here. You see mostly yard debris. Then you see some building debris. You have to separate your piles. You also have to separate your appliances. And that's nothing. When we left in Isla Mirada, they were like five blocks long of appliances. This is headed out to No Name Bridge. This is the No Name Bridge that I ride over a lot of mornings. There used to be a camp store there. It's gone. And there's a bunch of little cabins over there that didn't look like they fared very well either. And I think there was a house or two here that's missing. The cabins are actually here, but they're heavily damaged. They look like they fell off their foundation. That one's missing the front. So I'd say they're all pretty much gone. Really sad to see all this. Just a whole lot more debris. I was kind of expecting this for Big Pine, though. The side of that block building's gone. Now I'm on Watson, headed over to Key Deer. A little bit of debris on the sides of the roads here. This is the seahorse where we used to camp. I think all the trailers got totaled out. This is Avenue F. It's actually cleaned up pretty good. Just every so often there's a yard that has a lot of debris. So I'm assuming as the snowbirds arrive we will start seeing more. I'm kind of surprised that there are so many trailers left here because I would have thought they all got storm surge and that you wouldn't have restored them. And then every once in a while you have the stilt houses. The shingled roofs didn't do as well as the metal roofs. This is the last block of F. This is where Terry and my friend Sue live. Sue, there's your house in case you were wondering. The lots next door are cleaned up. Terry hasn't done much work here. Just a lot of debris mostly. Trailer frames. There's a mangled trailer frame. Cars still on the side of the road. So this is still F. I'm just headed back. And then you have to group all your appliances together for pickup. There's a trailer that imploded back in there. That's pretty much what it looked like when I was here six weeks ago. So two debris haulers just went by, so they are collecting trash on a Sunday, so that's good. That's a trailer frame there that got mangled. But this whole block is just destroyed. This is pretty much what the avenues looked like six weeks ago. So they are actually greatly cleaned up. This is the other side of the seahorse. Looks like someone might be living in a container there. That was a block building. This is hammock, which is a block over from us. It's pretty much what you see on Big Pine, just a bunch of debris piles that have yet to be picked up. This is the house next to Phil that had the roof sticking straight up, so they ended up getting rid of it. This is our neighbor on this corner. His grandparents had a lot of crap and they're slowly getting rid of it now. And then we're back to our trailer park. There was a trailer here. And that's pretty much our tour of Big Pond.